coming back to again owning property. I mean, if it's going to be phased. So if we compare it to Skyrim, if you buy a piece of property and let's say it was in an MMO, most likely there's other players buying the exact same piece of property. It's just yours is phased. Considering if everyone had their own piece of property, you'd have New York City in the middle of Skyrim. So you have a phased house that an NPC can go to. So most of the NPCs that you could marry could be random Joe Smos walking around the town. They could be shops, uh, shop owners. They can be tons of things. But no matter what the NPC is, every NPC in Skyrim and Oblivion, when it comes time for night, they go inside. They go to bed. They're not out walking around the town. So if you marry the blacksmith in town and let's say – I married the blacksmith in town as well, then when it nighttime comes, they just phase into whatever the house may be that is available for players to purchase. Does that See, make sense? That that makes sense, and I, I never thought about that. Now, I've never played an MMO that really had phasing other than WoW and newer MMOs, but the newer MMOs don't have housing um, for some reason. The last MMO I played that had housing was Dark Age of Camelot, and I think they did a phenomenal job at that. I can't imagine a housing area that's phased. I mean, I love the ability to buy a lot, build my house, or my mansion, or whatever, however money, how much money I have I build, and being able to customize it, making it look the way I want, and seeing my neighbor right next to me and walking over and knocking on his door and seeing if you can go in and examining his house. I, you need that you need that neighborly aspect, and if it's phased, you don't have that. And I think the yeah, neighborly but, aspect is what brings housing popularity. Yeah, but like I, with what Glandick was saying, uh, since they're going to be mega servers, if you were able to do that, you would have New York City in the middle of Skyrim, and it would be so but much... But would that not be the coolest thing ever? I don't know about that. I Might mean, be a that's... nightmare for uh, keeping track of... I mean, that's a lot of memory they're going to have to be able to deal with server Yeah, wide. and it's a lot of houses. I mean, hopefully there's multiple options, and I think they'll at least have the option is, you know, if I'm grouped up with you and you're the group leader, um, you know, we go into your house. So hopefully you'll get a little bit of neighborly aspect out of that. But I, I don't think they're going to be able to do, you know, separate physical houses or too many. I, I think that has to be phased I, with the mega servers. Well, I also think they'll do something as far as multiple houses, sort of like uh, how they did in Skyrim, where you can own a house in every city and uh, customize each one to look a little different in every city. I think they'll have that option available too, but... Unless they were looking to have a hundred servers dedicated to nothing but land and lots and memorizing that stuff, I don't, I don't see how that's possible when it's going to be mega servers and not a hundred small servers. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm very against the phased aspect of it. Now, I'm against the single house phased aspect of it. If it was. 150 houses in my neighborhood that's fine like i mean you still you gain that neighborly aspect being able to wander around the streets or the village or whatever and check out other people's houses but a single phased house i'm totally against that, that would actually ruin my experience but then that comes into the so okay you have a guild a guild of say maybe 30 people you set it up so you're phased with that your guild members let's say that that phase gets capped and we get more guild members they're not going to be phased in with our neighborhood, so they're not going to see our houses. How, how, how do they incorporate Well, they wouldn't be in your neighborhood. Something like that. You can zone into their neighborhood. It's like, it's like you're not in my neighborhood now, but I can travel to you. Well, that I, I can see, but I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know how. I think at first it's going to be phased housing, not phased neighborhoods, um, as they're first starting out. But that a phased neighborhood, when you put it that way, with being able to zone the different neighborhoods, kind of like how you can travel from city to city, that 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 would be an interesting thing to see. But I, I just I don't know if they can, if that's something that can be done at this point. See, I think they can because they're doing that similar aspect of it with Cyrodiil. They're doing campaigns, which is basically just phased zones. Yeah, but 
you also got to think of the lore of it too. Um, when you think of the lore and you think of, you know, Renaissance style, old school uh, towns and cities, and you compare it to Skyrim and things like that, you know, they're they're not there's that thousands many of little homes. villages. Are but you there's thousands about of little Jessica? farms and villages. And if yes. you think of the medieval times and stuff like that, like the Camelot right. or something like that, there was little cities next to castles, and then there was little farms further down the road. There was always little clusters of people. Right, and, and Skyrim did, did build upon that. But with that even being said, I mean, if all of these homes are dedicated to people being able to buy, where are all the NPCs going to be? Because that's one thing that... Elder Scrolls is big on. You know, if they have an NPC walking around, if they have Bob the Drunk walking around, he has a home that you can go and break into. And I would much prefer a slightly, not necessarily broken, but in personal homing experience, um, real estate experience, and keep that ability to interact with the NPCs in that way. Yeah, being able I to think housing will that. be its own zone, though. Like, I don't think it's going to be part of the standard ter- uh, Tamriel map. I think it'll be its own zone. But then that takes away from the the sense of living. That it takes away from the way that it's been. Because, like with Skyrim now, you buy a house in the town. It's in town, and you can go next door to your neighbor's house, break into their house, rob them blind, and go back into your house and. No one would know the wiser, or you can break into their house and get caught and either fight the guards or surrender yourself. It, <laughs> if it's zoned, it, it takes away from that sense of interacting with the, with, with the town. At, at least I would think so. I, 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 can, I see your point, um, and I, I can agree that it, it kind of ruins the, the, the aspect of the lore of it, uh, being able to go to your neighbors and stealing from your neighbors. Like, if it was a, like, the way I picture it is it's its own zone, it's all housing, it's all player housing, so there is no technically NPCs, but with it being an Elder Scroll game, there will definitely be NPCs. Now, I don't think you can go to a player house and rob them, because I'm pretty sure they would be against that idea. Well, actually, that would be kind of interesting. You can break into another player's house, and if they're not there, you get to rob them, but if you're there, you gotta fight each other, and if you die, you get kicked out of the house, and you got you can't, you gotta wait set amount of time that that would be interesting but like you said i don't think they do that but your neighbor you know, is a member of your own faction you wouldn't be stealing from your own faction if you're a part of the thieves guild you're stealing from everybody you don't care yeah that that, that would be very interesting to see but i don't i don't think they would incorporate that i think there'd be too much qqing with that going on oh, yeah, a lot of griefing with oh, that oh yeah that would, be, Come on. that would be very interesting. You just have to put that, locks yeah. on your doors. If you forget I'm, training your damn, free for all. I'm training a damn saber cat and I'm putting him up in my bed is what I'm doing if we're doing that. <laughs> but um, on the note of uh, talking about customization, I mean, have you just going with the whole owning your house, have you seen how you can currently customize your home and everything, uh, Kurth or Greg. Have you seen how um, Bethesda has done that in the past? No. I haven't, no. My, all my thought process on how housing is done is unfortunately from a very old Dark Age account. Alright, so I'll give you a brief idea on some of the stuff that they do. So you buy this house, and then you get the throughout the your time playing you get to add shit to your house you can put stuff on bookshelves you can buy dip, uh, different things and store stuff in your house so you have a bank in your house you can do all types of stuff like that uh, start fires in your home and the the inside of your home is actually very interactive you can store food in there and all types of, of neat shit that you can actually put inside your home and uh, they they went real in depth with the whole you buy a house in town and you customize the inside of the home with stuff and keeping it as a personal storage unit and stuff like that. And and my favorite part about it is it it wasn't just this you know at the end of your bed chest that you put all your items in. If you had food 
let's say you had some vegetables and garlic and you put them in your kitchen. They hung on your vegetable rack where you could actually see them and pick them off directly. If you put books in your bookcase, you saw the books lined up on the bookcase. If you had uh, weapons and armor you wanted to display, you would have a suit of, uh, like a mannequin that you would put your suit of armor on. You'd have weapon racks that you would see the effects of the weapon. If you have a fire enchant on a weapon and it's hanging on your wall, you have a burning sword hanging on the wall of your house. It's extremely interactive, like Altair said, and it's not plain at all. You see everything that you do, and it's it's a beautiful idea, and I'm now, excited. With all that being said, would you not want neighbor housing? Wouldn't you want to go into your neighbor's house and see, holy crap, look at all the stuff he has? Well, yeah, but I'm fine with being able to group up with you and jump in your house. You know, I'll I'll run out in the middle of a city and say, hey, Joe Schmo, come take a look at this awesome sword I have hanging on my wall and, you know, but take him inside. Being grouped ruins that, hey, I just want to walk around the neighborhood lore of it. And again, yeah, that's but just technically me. speaking, you're not going to be just walking into somebody's house without them inviting you in, hence well, the group. With Dark Age, you would knock. Like, you'd have to knock on the door and they would let you in. Um, or they left the door open or whatever, and you could just walk in and take a look. Uh, it's still technically grouping that. Well, no, because you don't I know agree. these people. You've never messaged them or anything like that. You just walk around. Well, the same as a pug. I agree with Greg. I would not... I would... I totally disagree. If I'm going to be inviting you into my house, I would want you grouped up. Especially... I think that would solve that problem. Especially if the looting system works anything like Elder Scrolls, because... In the way that your house is laid out and everything, I mean, yeah, you can put a lock on your display case that has your super awesome sword, but it's definitely pickable. And if someone can just stroll into your house or even just knock, you know, what if they're in the other room and you're not paying attention to them and they're, you're, they're taking your prize boar head? Yeah, but we, we already talked about how the, you, you can't steal from players. Um, but what about the outside of your house? Can you not decorate the outside of your house? They did not have that in the old games, and if it is going to, if it, I think if the housing is going to be inside the city at all, I don't think they're going to put it in the games. Because see, and again, I'm coming from Dark Age, where you were able to decorate the outside of your house, put flower pots, do whatever you wanted. And again, that's why I keep thinking walking around the neighborhood because you'd walk around, you'd look at other people's houses, you'd be like, you know what, that's a cool idea. Let me try that on my house without spending the the insane amount of gold to do it yourself. See, I wish that I had um, that X program that you guys were talking about running, that I could I could jump into my house in Skyrim and give you guys an idea of what's going on. It's it's such a home homey feel. I always say homely, but homey feel that um, is just perfect for the era. I mean, I I I like the way it works now. Yeah, yeah I'll I don't have know. To, I have to agree with Greg on that. I I enjoy the way that it it works now. I I mean, what you're saying, Kurt, it sounds very intriguing as far as being oh, what he's doing to the outside of his house is very neat. I'd like to try that. But the the sense of uh, you walk in your house and everything is interactive and there's stuff going on. And take example the uh, your your wife or your husband or something like that. You walk in the house, they greet you. They're walking around the house, or they're getting ready to go to bed, or they're already sleeping, or you come in at this time of the day, and they're in the kitchen. You come in this time of the day, they're reading a book, or you do, you come in at night, and they're not sleeping, but they're sitting by the fireplace, or, or something like that. They add all that interactive stuff to it, so I can, I'm okay with not doing anything to the outside of the home if they keep all that interactive stuff inside the home. Uh, but, I mean, as far as the whole housing, uh, I, I like that idea of zoned housing. Um, but again, with the way that the uh, cities and stuff are built in Skyrim, there's just it. I, I find it very difficult to uh, incorporate 200 towns into uh, 200 homes into some of the cities that are in Skyrim when the way that they're built it wouldn't incorporate that that many homes like uh added on top of the homes uh of npcs because you, you got to keep that npc feel there with skyrim because that's just that's just the way that skyrim is you got 
uh, like uh, Glenn said, Bob the Drunk walking around. He's got a place to go. You have all the people that support the Stormcloaks who have houses on one side of the town and the people who have who represent the other side, the Imperials, who've got houses on the other side of town and stuff like that. you got to keep that feel and that interactiveness of the NPCs around. But you Even also, the because it's an MMO, you have to keep that community alive. you got to remember, they're going from a single-player game to a multi Mass, like mass, mass, massive multiplayer. So you gotta have that community. You gotta have that camaraderie. I and agree. I, I, it'll just. I, the only thing I can say other than that is it'll be interesting to see what they do. It'll, it'll definitely be interesting because uh, I, I strongly feel for that camaraderie. I want to see other people's stuff. I want to feel like I'm in a world with real people. Oh, if I, you can group up and be invited over, you will be able to. But. I can't. I don't walk that around my neighborhood being grouped up with people, though. That th- see that loses reality to me. That loses that that role play. Yeah, I I agree. I I, I want to be able to to explore and stuff too. But I'm I want Elder Scrolls to stay as original as possible, even though they're going to an MMO. So I'm I'm tied between. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place with that because I. I want to see that aspect, but I want them to keep the the current aspect of how the game is designed as far as the interaction with with the world. They said they want to make a game that is Elder Scrolls, but with other people. So, we'll see how much the same they keep it. Yeah, no, it'll definitely be interesting to see how they play out because, again, they're taking a massive single-player game and dropping millions of people into it. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it's all played out. Because it would millions. really suck if it, it would really suck if they take a multiplayer game and give it that single-player feel because then it's Star Wars all over again. It's a multiplayer game, but it feels like a single-player game. 